Porn, Christmas, and Jesus. Let's get into it. Real talk. Over the holidays, it can be so much more alluring to look at porn. Have you ever been there? After all, we can have more free time, be isolated from our friends, and at times, stressed about seeing people like that one crazy uncle. Years ago, when I was addicted to porn, I would struggle so much over the holidays. It seemed inevitable that over winter break, I'd end up back there again watching porn. But over time, that started to change, and I said goodbye to my Christmas porn habit. And it's been over six years since I've looked at porn. How? Well, I had to understand why the holidays triggered my desire to look at porn. See, over the holidays, many things can happen that can cause us to feel disconnected, hurt, or stressed. For example, it's so normal for us to get out of our daily routines, to spend more time alone, to not have meaningful connection with our friends, or to experience family arguments and to feel hurt and misunderstood. All of these things can trigger a desire to escape by watching porn or to get some type of temporary attention or love through a person on a screen. Our porn use is not random. There's a reason why we watch it and we have to discover those reasons in order to not go back to it. So much of why we look at porn is we feel lonely, rejected, or not loved by others. But God wants to offer us something so much better. See, Christmas is about celebrating the birth of Jesus, God in human flesh. Jesus came to earth to live a perfect life of obedience to God for you. Die for your wrongs, rise from the dead, and offer you forgiveness and a restored relationship with a God who loves you and wants to know you and accept you. It's a gift you can freely receive simply by talking to him and asking for it. It's not based on good deeds. It's not based on who's naughty or nice. And there's no fine print to this gift. So consider trading your porn use for true love and real acceptance this year. 